and a close confidant of the US president has been charged with seven crimes as part of the investigation into alleged Russian meddling in the 2016 election. Roger Stone's accused of being a conduit between Trump's campaign and WikiLeaks and lying about it. Well, let's get more on this. Morgan Peckmay is the co-director and producer of the Netflix documentary Get Me Roger Stone, which looks at Stone's long and controversial career. And he's joining us live from New York. Great to have you with us on Al Jazeera. You had a lot of access to Stone to make the movie. What are your impressions of him? Well, Roger is a brilliant and an eccentric figure. He is one of the most influential people in shaping American politics over the last four decades. But he's also a bodybuilding, pot-smoking dandy swinger with a giant tattoo of Richard Nixon's face between his shoulder blades. So he is a singular individual by any definition. Um, you say he's brilliant. In what way? Um, Roger is one of the most accomplished dirty tricksters in American politics, one of the reasons we wanted to make a film about him is that there are many people who uh, engage in unscrupulous tactics in politics around the world, but Roger is the rare figure who revels in his dirty tricks and his malevolence and his dastardly reputation. And um, Roger has been integral in uh, electing President Reagan, President um, George W. Bush, and he was the very first person to suggest to Donald Trump that he run for the presidency back in the 80s, and then he spent the next 29 years bringing that unlikely dream to fruition. So how integral would you say he's been in the election of Donald Trump? And do you think he's reveling tonight as he faces these very serious charges that and, and possible jail time like others who've been indicted in Mueller's investigation? Well, I would say that after Trump, uh, Stone deserves the most credit for making Trump the president. Um, so he's enormously influential in, in uh, being the cause of the Trump presidency. Um, I would say that nobody uh, likes to be indicted. Uh, Roger has assiduously avoided indictment throughout his long storied career. Um, but at the same time, he seemed to revel in the press conference that he had today in the wake of the indictment. And um, he, he looked unflappable, even though I am sure that um, behind that, that brave face, um, there is certainly some concern about um, what may be the outcome of these charges. He, he has publicly said, you know, the only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about. He's also said that he will not testify against Donald Trump. From what you know of him and the situation, do you think he'll stay true to that? I, I believe that he will. Um, Roger has a very long and genuine friendship with the president. Um, he, I, I think that it is something that even and borders on, on love. He's expressed this to us both on and off camera. So I think that Roger would have to be hit with much more serious charges to even consider it. And even then, um, given the closeness of his relationship to Trump, he has to be thinking in the back of his mind that he would be perhaps the best candidate we have seen to date for a presidential pardon, Mr. Were, that, were he to be um, convicted. Mr. Peckmay, it is really fascinating to get your insights on this. We do appreciate your time. That's Morgan Peckmay live in New York. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth.